you get in there, deep boy. Look at him. Oh, yeah, yeah, get right on top of that tire. Oh, my so God. So tell me, Billy, do you remember being born? Why, yes, actually. <laughs> my first dream... Don't, don't, don't. ...was of me being born, actually. My first dream was of me being Martin Luther King having a dream. <laughs> no, actually... The first thing I remember is having a dream where I was laying in a bed just as a torso and a head. And then these big arm thingies come down and put my arms on, screw them on, put my legs on, oh, screw those on. It's like the car or whatever. Yeah. And what's up with these fucking guys? <laughs> and I, I don't need this firebomb. Why do I have so many firebombs in my house? <laughs> And I wake up. Shut up. How about that? You want you want me to talk oh, about okay, yeah. my autobiography? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. <laughs> Why don't you talk to me anymore, Taylor? Anyway, so that guy. I uh, I had my arms and legs screwed on. I walked downstairs, saw my aunt and my mom. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and they were sitting there drinking coffee. I don't know why, but they loved coffee. And, um, yeah, that was my first memory that I can, you know, actually actively remember. What about you? What's your first memory, Taylor? So everybody for people, knows. for people who didn't, you can't obviously can't see what I just did. I just gave the the Zoltan sign. <laughs> Taylor, what's your first memory? My first, Zoltan. No, my first memory is Zoltan. <laughs> no, my, I think my earliest memory is weird because it's so stupid. Uh, <clears throat> was me waking up. I think it was when I was like four. <laughs> it's me waking up at, in my bed. And me testing out my voice to see what I sound like. <laughs> Being dead serious. I called out for my mom, but she was downstairs. And it was just me kind of testing out my voice to see what I sounded like. Well, there we go. That is my earliest memory. It's weird, too, because like I said, yeah, that was that was when I was like four. So it's like... God damn it. Piece of shit. Why didn't I just do that? There we go. Okay. Um, it's funny how, though, like, your memory doesn't develop until you're, like, you know, three or four. Yeah. So it's like, even though we've been alive for, uh, 21 years, you might as well have only been alive for, like, 19. Yeah, because that's uh, all you really remember. Years. Yeah. Because, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know exactly what age I was when I learned it. Well, it was a good age. It was the age of reasoning. I remember uh, in my one of my speech classes that I had. Uh, well, I shouldn't even say one of my speech classes. I should just say the speech class that I had. Um, one of the uh, people, one of the guys in there, talked about how like uh, I forgot what it was we were like supposed to be talking about, but he was saying like. Uh, if he could live, like, you know, if he could live as, like, one thing, like, he would want to live for the rest of his life as a baby, or, like, as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. And his reasoning for that was because, you know, people take care of me, you don't have to worry about anything, you just, you know, live your life, and that sort of thing. And I can understand where he's coming from, but at the same time, it's like, I wouldn't want to be a fucking child my entire life, that'd suck. You see, there's a reason, there's good and bad for that. Yeah. Because... <clears throat> Sure, there's no, you you know, you don't have to do anything, but then at the same time, when you do want to do something, you have no free will, basically. Yeah, you can't. That's what I was going to say. That, like, You're always being told what to do. Yeah, like, you you know, you have the inability to do something because you just don't have, like, the understanding to do it. Yep. You don't know what it is. Because that's the thing. I mean, a life as a child with the brain of a, you know person like yeah like an you know old person oh, yeah It'd be shitty a developed mind at least you would be able to uh 
have some kind of fun with it for a while, but you would definitely get bored. Well, yeah, you'd fuck with people. Yeah, you'd, uh, fuck, you'd with fuck with people, people at first, but then it's just like, you know, kind of like that one kid from Cowboy Bebop. Ed? No. Uh, that one kid who, like, he was on Venus or whatever, and then, like, the satellite array exploded, and then it, oh, it, it stopped uh, the, his aging. Oh, the blues guy? The blues yeah, kid? He, yeah, he had the uh, harmonica. Yeah. It's kind of like that, that, you know, sort of situation going on. Where, like, he just, you know... He was like 80 years old or some shit like that, but he was... He was like 102, I think. Yeah, something like that, and he was like, uh... uh, Stuck in a child's body because his body didn't age. Man, that would be shit. It would be shit. It would be fucking awful. That's why I saw Daybreakers. That's the... What? What are you shaking? I don't know what that is. Oh. It is a vampire movie. And uh, oh, Sam sick. Neill's in it. Oh, there's a secret level in this movie. Yeah. You gotta hit the sign with the alien. Alien ant farm? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, um. Yeah, it is, uh. Sam Neill's in it. You bitch. What? Why are you calling me a bitch? I don't know. Anyway, same meals in it. What happens is when you were bit, you stay that age. So, there's... It's been going on, I think it was like 50 years or something. I don't know what I'm doing! You're just doing stuff. Anyway, um... There's these people. And, uh... Um... <laughs> uh, Vampires, all that good stuff. Anyway, um, basically, to get back to what we were talking about, uh, what you were talking about. Shut up. People, oh my god, fuck. Okay, I gotta stop looking at the screen real quick. People would be bit when they were young, and they would forever stay young. Uh Uh-huh. Which would be so, that would be sucky. Because vampires live forever. Unless they are, you know, killed by the sun or killed by people. Can't they starve? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. But the way the way it worked in that universe was if they starved, they become... Um... Like a monster. They don't technically starve. They just become a monster. And then they starve. Alright. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. There would be... People who are, like, 50, 60 years old, but they're trapped in the body of a 12-year-old. And... That would just be terrible. I know there was... I think it was Vampire Diaries or something. I heard there was, like, a character on there. She is, like, a 5-year-old. Or, no. I think she's, like, 10. Uh But she's actually, like... 100, 200 years old. Yeah. So a 200 well, year old, 10 year old. Well, that's pretty much like any vampire ever. <clears throat> like, some people find vampire chicks hot or something. Yeah. And then you're like, man, she's so hot and she's young. She ain't young. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, with this 10 year old, um, she, she has the desires of a 200 year old person. She's the monument for all of our sins. Yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she wants to do people, but because she's ten years old, she can't. can't. (laughs) Or, you know, it's just, she can't. It would be one frowned on. That's, uh, that's a predicament anyway. A ten-year-old chick wants to bang. But she's ten. A two-year-old. Piece of shit. A two-hundred-year-old ten. A a two-hundred ten-year-old. Piece of shit. That would be the shittiest part. You would always want to be... You're always horny, but you can't do it. Yeah. The only way to become a vampire that no one seems to... Everyone kind of forgets about that. Because the only time that is actually beneficial to become a vampire... (sighs) Do shit again. Yeah. Is if you are in your prime. Or, you know, a little bit older. I think... 40s through... 20s. That's when you want to be bit by a vampire the most. It's backwards. 
child. <laughs> 20s through 40s. That's when you want to be bit by a vampire. It, well, you could go down to 18. You imagine, you imagine uh, fucking like going around and like looking for a vampire. Bite me! Bite me! I want to be preserved in this age. And they're like, fuck you, man. I don't want to do that. <laughs> they're all assholes to you. Like, no. I'll, I'll wait no. until you're 80, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. Just so you're an old fuck for the rest of your life. Yeah. And then they're just like, just to spite you, like, no, oh, fuck you. I don't want to do that. Right before you die from like, your blood's shitty. You got like <coughs> leukemia or something. Yeah, right before you die from leukemia and you're like 90 years old, they're like, I will save you. No, please, just let me die. I don't want to be 90 year old. Could they kill themselves? Like, you can... I don't think they are, because they are like superhuman regeneration kind of shit. Oh. Um... I don't think, uh,. Our diseases. It would be like a dog eating a leukemia pile. Yeah, you you can pile <laughs> leukemia and eat it. Leukemia pile. That should be a fucking band, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I don't think if you if the <laughs> like you can't give a dog the common cold because. Good it's evening. Just not We're the same. a leukemia pile, and this is our hit <laughs> single. Her beautiful blue eyes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't think they, I don't even think they're saying words. They're just <laughs> screaming at us. I'm pretty sure. Dude, that's the point. It's leukemia pot. So very very sad. <laughs> Goes a little something like this. So sad. Thank you. Let a race, guys. This, this next one's comes up to the guy screaming at us from the bottom of the It's called "We Hate You." Please die. Ooh, I love this one. Bitch. Oh, no, hold on, I can, I can still get this. Yep, yep. You got this, you got this. Taylor. Why can't I stop talking? I don't know. Uh, oh, fuck! So close. Dang it. I kinda have to pee. So, next time I'm in Strap Chaps, I'm gonna interrupt everything and go pee. Maybe you'll actually beat this. Yeah, maybe. Gotta get the shine sprite.